Hey everyone, Hans here. Hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, society. Well, maybe I should say tonight. <laughs> um, that is to say, I have my take on it. But as always, I prefer to leave people with their own way of looking at the world. And it has come to my attention, and I think people who have watched my videos for a while could guess that I was eventually going to bring this up. It's the the despise for heroism that I witness, or as I perceive it at least. The... Hmm... The absolute despise that is had towards brave people. Not because they might be picturesque in their figure, in their mind, you know, like uh, people who do great deeds to get plastic out of the ocean, you know, the, the men who pull you out of a burning building and all of that they get their paychecks and I guess that's fine but I see a severe lack of overall recognition and to compare that then with other people who <laughs> other individuals let's put it like that who uh, get far more attention in society who are not doing anything like this and even speak with the spies towards men like that or at the very least cover up as much as they can and make themselves um, the hero of the day by I don't know whatever petty little thing it is they did that morning and we can't point fingers I suppose to some such people who I guess prefer posing rather than actually being. But society allows this to happen, doesn't it? And this is not to say that there aren't people who care and who do value this and more, more strength to them for that. But I think it helps reframe one's mind out of certain fantasies um, because I know a lot of people who are worried for example I've, I've said it before about the about white erasure whether it is in books whether it is you know physically in the streets whether it is um, just in value <clears throat> the values that typically go hand in hand with even you know, should I say specifically white men in, in their ideal way of living, their ideal mindset. Um, yeah, I detect, or I perceive at least, that in spite of the few, well, few, in spite of those who truly appreciate that, there is a multitude who is very loud and does not. It can be that it is just a mere um, illusion, a trick of the mind, if you will, because if you point all the cameras at only a handful who don't appreciate it, but you keep all the good people out of you, well, that handful is always going to look like they are more numerous, and therefore that may invoke fear, uh, uncertainty and distrust which are the tools of the pathological ones, the evildoer, if you will. And usually, of course, that goes hand in hand, that it is the tool of, uh, dare I say, the weaklings. Those who cannot even... Well, no, I'm not going to go deeper into that specifically. I'll get too far away from the initial point. What that says to me is that perhaps... Rather than waiting for someone else to be heroic around you, to just exhibit, to manifest your inner heroism, and to indeed be bold, as I mentioned in an earlier video, but of course again, 
that is not a single choice that you make it is a series of choices I do not presume or do not mean to presume that there are that I am the only one who knows this because that is not true but I definitely think I'm one of the few who speaks about it so openly you have to continuously make the choice to be brave it's not a one choice and deal done case you will be put in situations if you will if you want to do what is just and for white people I would say standing with your own is of course a, a sign of self-love and the ability to love others um, the choice that you make there to be bold to be brave is kind of repetitive maybe I should give an example what about one day uh, you hear an anti-white or two in the streets trying to convince other people that they should also be anti-white and you can just simply decide to keep walking and maybe in some cases that's simply the smart thing to do fine if it's simply the smart thing to do to not even not even try okay but if it's by your own perception you think yeah you know what these people should be called out because I think the ones that are listening are genuinely confused and they're just being bullied something like that to toe the line the anti-white line then it is a choice right to be brave to step forward and call those people out the game of evildoers is also one of deceit so the truth does not fear investigation the truth can actually but the truth the power of truth is calling out what evil is doing is in a certain sense not physically but um, by manner of speech you let you, know, you do not only let them uh, slip their masks you ensure that the mask comes off to see the monster behind the smile or whatever it's going to be okay having that in mind the very next day let's imagine that you are brave enough to do that and good on you for those who do such things you see let's say You see it happen all over again and you might already have accumulated that little bit of experience in being brave the first time but that fear is still gonna be there because what is bravery it is the overcoming of fear not the absence of it so again you're gonna you may just feel that initial fear again but that is okay that is your challenge to rise to heroism and you're gonna have to make that choice again and thereafter again and again and while you're at it you're building confidence you're improving your skill set that you use to speak truth and eventually you do not necessarily need to be brave anymore because you can be so confident that there is not even any fear anymore present Maybe there should always be a little bit, a little bit of that with anti-whites, because some of them are, well, some of them will take it to physical violence and all of that. <clears throat> so definitely watch out for that. Many anti-whites, uh, well, they're anti-whites, right? They want white erasure. So being wise and not falling, <laughs> falling victim to that, is. Uh, yeah it's just a good move all around but the act of saving others when you can when you think it's appropriate that's good that's healthy now in society today we can pat each other on the shoulder for that and that is good but I do not necessarily see that so much I suppose in a certain sense 
people hardly even brag about something as convincing someone to see the anti-white for what they are. When they use anti-white slurs, you call it an anti-white slur. When you, um, when when an anti-white tries to legislate something that is damaging to to our people economically or however it's going to be, uh, health-wise. There are many good people who get in the way of that, but then where are the other good people? You know to give him a pat on the shoulder to, I don't know, depending on how heroic they were, maybe they deserve a bit more, right? Maybe, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a silly example perhaps, but yeah, let's say, let's say uh, some people, their eyes were opened by hands. Maybe someone will send hands, uh, uh, a new a new tool you know for for the shed well, maybe Hans wants to build something and his hammer broke the other day so something like that I'm being a bit silly but you get the idea that also creates an incentive for others to be heroic rather than <clears throat> living in a society where the heroic is despised and you might actually be punished to be heroic some good men who intervened when uh, a broken female was attacked in the streets and the the, uh, the criminal, let's say, the attacker, was fended off. But then in a deranged attitude towards the heroic, this broken female accuses her savior almost, you could say, her hero, of being all kinds of anti-white slurs and now he is in trouble that creates a sphere where good men will stand by when evil is done and that distrust does live in society does it not or am I wrong in this I have definitely heard my fair share of stories there and uh, as far as personal experience, there's no point in me bringing that up. But there is definitely um, a change in mindset required there as well. Like I said in one of my earlier videos, to be bold and vigilant. Those are good qualities, I think. Inspired, divinely inspired even. What needs to come with that is that we're going to have our people who are going to, yeah, to be supportive of that, of that behavior. And to condemn, what is that a word? To at the very least not condone uh, false accusations and perhaps even have these people held properly accountable if false accusations were at play. And uh, yeah, to make being heroic attractive to young folk. Because part of the reason why a lot of men, or I should say where a lot of boys become broken males, is because they surrender themselves to the prevailing atmosphere of anti-heroism. Uh, cowardice and as they start modeling themselves after that one could argue well you know then they were never true men in the first place and all of that sure I guess they've definitely chosen not to be good men that leaves them only with being either vagues or evil uh, evil males Predators, as some like to call that. But maybe for some of them, you know, if only there were a few people in their lives that said, you know what, don't listen. Don't listen to those who tell you to be unheroic. 
like no do right you know be inspired by you know the greats of your forebears you know the herculeses the the argonauts in general the the beowulfs the uh the king uh, the king redbots of history uh those guys <laughs> you know who went out across the world and um created quite a change to put it mildly maybe then a lot of these broken mills would have never been broken in the first place they would have seen that there was maybe something else than surrendering no. I do not know in how far that is entrained or how far that is just within someone but the rise of uh, with the rise of heroism being despised in my perception we do see more of these broken individuals and you might say okay well actually no I'm going to even add to that and for women it's actually the same story there is a video that I'm going to make about a choice between cowardice and bravery but it's not specifically this it's a bit of an attachment uh, but for now I also say that for women to be brave it's the exact same thing women have to be more wary that is okay nobody is telling you to get into the front line so to say but maybe you'll find yourself a nice spot know in the line behind that right <laughs> they say that behind every great man stands a woman uh, and I would change that no no behind every great man stands a great woman and some might insinuate that because she is pulling the strings no it's because he is protecting her while she is protecting him she literally has his back that is what that should be but of course those who are inclined towards controlling others well they immediately think of puppet strings and all of that right maybe that is true though in their case yeah Maybe that image in and of itself will also lend that women can choose to be heroic too. That does, and yes, the fine line, as they say, between foolishness and bravery. I suppose it is there, but that usually has more to do with: is it worth it? Is it worth to risk life and limb? If it is not, then it isn't cowardice. It's just a wise choice to keep going. And at the end of the day, that is what you f decide for yourself. And also, it's also decided by the consequences of your actions in the long term. If uh, you have these types who will say, oh, I was just being smart, while they were truly being cowardly, you will see that in the results of their flight, if you will, what happened after that. Were more anti-whites brought to bear, or was it the very least uh, an, uh, a 50-50 scenario, if you will? Or, yeah, were more people's eyes opened up? Maybe I should leave it there for now. It's uh, it was on my mind. It's maybe not my most precise of videos, uh, but still worthwhile thinking about. I believe might have some value to it. And uh, to really bring uh, yeah to quickly bring it up <laughs> at the end for those who are awaiting for my first book Tunra's the Tulian to come out. 
we are still looking at early February as I initially said so things has been going really smooth it's been going good and uh, yeah more on that soon enough it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome <laughs> even if I say so myself and yeah I think I'll I'll leave it there you all enjoy your day I'll talk to you soon bye bye